to everyone and uh, welcome to the daily briefing. Friends, I would like to inform you that uh, a total of 933 samples have been tested. Out of these, 821 have come out negative. As of now, we have 11 active cases in our state, so that's increased by one since yesterday. And total number of test results awaited is 100. I would also like to inform you that uh, we have re received 7,500 rapid test kits that have been allotted to the state. And we have immediately started using those also. I would also like to inform you that uh, the condition of the patients who tested positive is stable. Under the Chief Minister's special grant for people who are stranded outside the state, a total of 2,995 people till date have been given the benefit and the money has been transferred to these beneficiaries, that is 2,995 of them. Friends, I would also like to inform you that um, the 12th patient, which is the 11th active patient, uh, who had tested positive for COVID-19 on the 20th of April, is a close family friend of the family of the index case. I would also like to inform you that that person is under quarantine and a rapid antibody test has been conducted today of all the seven members of the family members of that 12th patient. I would like to inform all of you that the rapid, the results of the rapid antibody test for all the seven family members of the person who was tested positive uh, on the 20th, all the results have come out negative. At the same time, I would also like to inform you that the state has uh, taken steps to increase the real-time PCR test capacity by deploying what we call gen expert machines at Negrim's Shillong. The government is currently waiting for the cartridges which are due to arrive soon and this particular installation of these machines would enhance the state's sample testing capacity to 80 more tests per day in addition to the existing 90 tests at Negrim's. Friends, there have been uh, some concerns that have been raised by the citizens of our state. There were some concerns, concerns regarding the price of essential commodities going up in different districts. Friends, I would like to inform you that uh, we have already asked the respective deputy commissioners to take action in any case where we find any kind of overpricing taking place. It has also been mandated that every shop must display the price of different products uh, to the consumer. And I would like to urge the citizens that if there are any specific cases that come up of uh, overpricing in any part of the state, please inform the deputy commissioners who have been authorized to take immediate steps in order to ensure that there is no overpricing. Friends, there have also been suggestions um, regarding uh, picking up of vegetables and from various vendors and suppliers and to be given to the public. Uh, as you're aware, we have a system called 1917 and that 1917 uh, is a phone number. Uh, the system is called iTeams and this has already been activated and a large number of uh, amount of vegetables has been brought, bought from the farmers and distributed to different localities and we are working on enhancing the capacity of iTeams and 1917 overall. Uh, friends, there have also been queries from uh, the public in general asking us about the details of all the patients and their names who have tested positive. Friends, I would like to state here that um, it would be incorrect on the government's part to give out the names. Here I would like to say that uh, we must respect the privacy of the patients. It is very, very important. But at the same time, I would like to assure you that the government is acting very fast. The department is acting very fast. Immediately, as we come to know about the information, contact tracing is being done and the testings are being done immediately of the primary contacts 
or the secondary contacts if necessary of uh, patients who are coming out as positive like it was done yesterday. We immediately contact traced and uh, did a testing, uh, rapid testing of seven of the family members of the person who was tested positive. Apart from them, friends, um, I would also like to inform you that uh, under the CNRD department, uh, all the pending bills under MG and RDGS have been cleared till 31st of March 2020. And um, different uh, deputy commissioners and the BDOs have been asked uh, to ask the VECs uh, to submit their annual work plans um, as per the uh, guidelines to ensure that uh, the other works also can continue. So friends, these were the basic updates that we had for today um, and uh, we'll be again seeing you tomorrow for the next update. Thank you very much.